In times of turmoil and distress, we often seek solace and healing in the wisdom of Scripture. The Bible holds a special place offering words of comfort, guidance, and hope to millions around the world. So let's turn to today's scripture that says, But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast, Zion for whom no one cares. Now this verse comes from the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, which contains prophecies and messages from the prophet Jeremiah to the people of Judah during a time of unrest and impending exile. Now this particular verse is significant as it provides a message of hope and restoration to the people of Judah who have been experiencing suffering and turmoil. Now the verse begins with the assurance that God will restore health and heal the wounds of his people. Now this imagery of healing and restoration is a powerful symbol of God's compassion and care for his people. It signifies the promise of physical, spiritual healing, renewal and transformation. The context of this verse is also crucial in understanding its full meaning. During this time, the people of Judah were facing the consequences of their disobedience and rebellion against God. They were experiencing the, the effects of their sin and were on the verge of being exiled from their land. But despite their suffering, God offers them a message of hope and restoration through Jeremiah's prophecies. Now the verse also addresses the emotional and psychological wounds of the people. Now the people had been called an outcast and had felt abandoned and rejected. However, God assures them that he will restore their dignity and honor. Now all of us as wounds that need healing, we have all suffered some type of injury, whether it be physically, spiritually, or mentally. We all have hurts within our lives that need restoration and healing. And maybe as you listen to today's verse from Jeremiah, you can relate to the feelings of feeling like an outcast, never quite fitting in, always feeling on the outside, longing to belong. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 stands out as a powerful testament to God's unwavering commitment to heal and restore. God is in the business of healing and restoring those who are broken. He can restore situations that appear to be hopeless. So let God bring healing and wholeness into every area of your life. So let us pray. Loving God, thank you for this promise of healing and restoration. Thank you for the promise to create new life for your people. And so, Father, we live in a broken world, plagued by sin and societal issues that can be sometimes overwhelming. And so, Lord, we lift up to you every area of our lives and the world that needs your touch and healing knowing that you are the God who restores and heals our wounds. Amen.